Uh, what else? What else? Oh my my! All these are going away. Oh, speed three. Sorry. You got my box. It's just shoes. It's just shoes. It's just shoes. See? Shoes. God. Hey, open that one. What'd you find? What'd you find? Show me, Henry. Uh, uh no more. Show me. Oh, are they black? Whoa. What'd you find? Oh, nice. And then what's in here? Whoa, ice. There it is. Oh. Whoa. Oh, boy. Lost a shoe. Okay, we just got done with the live stream. I opened up one of these other boxes in that live stream where we talking about running challenges that we're facing right now. You know, I talked about obviously coming back from the injury and just readapting the legs to the, uh, to the mileage. And, but I want to open up this, uh, is it this one? Hold on. Oh my goodness. Are there two in here? Okay. Let's get these other boxes opened here. Wow. 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 Oh my, my. So I don't know if I showed this to you upstairs or not, but this is the Speed 3, the Run Shield. There it is. Okay, they call it the Run Shield. And then the other one was the Ice Plus 3, Peregrine Ice Plus 3. That's this black one there. This is the last box from Saucony. Ready? One, two, and three. I don't even know. Um, the Shift. Oh my. So what Saucony just did. Thank you, Saucony. They just sent me every single shoe from the summertime for the, I, this is the Shift 3, but what are the official, Run Shield, okay, is what they're gonna, yeah, Run Shield, wow, 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 Endorphin Shift 3, Run Shield. So, um, it's, you know, we, actually, let's do it right now. Question of the day, when it's slushy, when it's wet out, when the roads are icy, I still run. I can't, I can't help myself. I love running. I can't stop. I can't go to the gym and run on a treadmill. It's not in my DNA. I got to go get in the miles outside. I just love it. It's even though it's harder, you got to think about your clothing a lot more. It's not as, um, you know, you not, I would say it's probably not quite as enjoyable as running, let's say, in the early, you know, early summer when the temperatures are perfect or early fall when the temperatures are perfect. But man, I just love running. And you're probably, so question of the day, what is going to be your go-to winter running shoes? All right. Do you go for the shield? You know, and obviously if you live in, you know, southern Texas, you probably don't have to worry about, you know, uh, as much as far as slush in and rain is concerned, but there are places, there are many, many places around the world where we got to think about these things. So that's the question of the day. Okay, let's get out the durometer, start getting some uh, numbers on these shoes here. So many shoes. And you might be wondering, Seth, I already own that shoe. Why are you even going to make a full review for it? Well, that's a good, good point. But in the next two, three months, this is going to be a majority of the lineup, okay? You know, the Boston 11 I haven't tested yet, the Zoom Fly 5, the Zagama from Nike, okay? Is it the Zagama X? Is that what they call it? Anyway, like a trail shoe, a newer trail shoe from Nike. Oh, the Mafate Speed 4, Magic Speed 2. So the reason is that this, these full reviews that will be coming down the pike over the next two to three months, uh, when people are trying to pinch pennies in 2023 and, and purchase last year's iteration, I can send them the full reviews. Many of you probably will buy this shoe brand new, but many people will buy this shoe uh, next year in 2023 and try and save a little bit of money because you know right now most of these shoes are full price. In about you know, if you want to just you know again pinch those pennies in three or four months from now, so we're in November, so let's say February March, these prices will start to drop. Not quite, but soon enough, like next next spring when. Um, when you know a new, a whole new gamut of shoes will come out next spring, all around the world from all these different companies. So let's get a little. Let's just see here, just to remind ourselves. Okay. Oh, this is the tri oh yeah, Triumph Twenty. I gotta say, 
Oh, 28, 29. Very soft to the touch. Lattice structure through that midsole. Very excited about that. Let, I've done this before, but let's just remind ourselves. This is the uh, Rebel V3, which I realize, I know, I have not tested yet. 39? No way. No way. 31. Okay, that's getting closer. Let's just see here. 24 on the inside. Okay. And 32. All right, so nice and low there. I remember that number being pretty accurate to that. The Bondi 8. 51, definitely a, a more firm ride. Okay, so the lower the number, the softer the, uh, the midsole foam. And let's just do one more and then we'll call it. Oh yeah, we'll get you the comment of the day. Zoomfly 5, there we go, Zoomfly 5, 46, to be expected. That it feels like a firmer ride just to the touch there, the thumb test for the Zoomfly 5 from Nike. From right to left will be the progression of, you know, if you want to vote, you could down in the comments, like if you have one shoe that you really want me to test first, if there's like an overwhelming, you know, it's like this shoe, you got to test it next, I will do that. But my vision is, you know, Speed 3, Run Shield from Saucony, I'm telling you, Triumph 20. I'm very intrigued by this shoe. I'm, I'm very, I'm probably most excited about that one. Um, and then, you know, Rebel V3, Mafate Speed 4, and then moving this way down the line. But, 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 feel free to vote down below. Bondi 8, um, Mizuno Neo Ultra. All right, a new shoe from Mizuno. Very interesting midsole there. So I, again, there's a lot of options out there and it's exciting. And it just takes, it just takes time to get to all of them. And it's, you know, it's going to be a two to three month project here. Less Arbor, Arbores, have to say the Nike Invincible line is my go-to easy day shoe. This is a comment of the day. Just put 500 miles in a V1 model, but had to retire them as the outsole wore through. Do you realize how valuable that comment of the day? Like, that's really good information that, and I think I predicted, I don't know what my durability prediction was for the V1, Hmm, but that's incredible information. Thank you for letting us know that. But 500 miles, that's pretty good. I'm not surprised that you got it that far. Now starting next marathon training block using the V2 as my new easy day shoe. So that again was the full review from today. Onward we go. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on all these shoes and we'll just get to testing for all of you. We will toss it to the road running shoe matrix 20, but you know, from two or three months ago. In case you wanna buy some old shoes, Try and pinch a few pennies. Road Running Shoe Matrix. I think it published July 2022. Right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.